Creating PPC campaigns on Amazon can drain your budget if you don't do it the right way. When I launched my product in 2018, I made a lot of mistakes and I set up my campaigns incorrectly and I could have saved a lot of money if I followed these simple steps. With mistakes that could have been fixed easily had I had the right knowledge. Now in this video, I'll show you exactly how I set up my sponsor products ads campaigns for the highest chance of success based on everything that I've learned from all the brands we've managed, from my own brand and all the mistakes that I've ever made. All right guys, let's jump into the computer. All right, guys, so I'm in here in Seller Central. I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to go to Advertising Campaign Manager. Now, this is basically where all of our campaigns live right here. You can see all the campaigns, the different portfolios. So you want to click here, create a campaign. Now, once we click create a campaign, you're going to see this is the different campaign types. You can click here to see where the placements are going to be. So sponsor brand is usually going to be a headline search ad or a video ad. So this is a video ad. You can see this a play a playing video and then this is headline search ad so sometimes it can look like just the carousel and sometimes it will have a custom image at the top sponsored display this is also like same placements very similar placements to amazon dsp but you'll see like they, there's different bars across the pages on you know on amazon uh, that's where sponsored display shows up we're not going to talk about any of these for now, we're just going to talk about sponsor products, but just know that as you set up sponsor products campaigns, sponsor brand and display are very, very, very similar, you know, in terms of like best practices, just a few different nuances, but I want you to pay attention as I build the sponsor products campaigns, because there is a lot of nuances here. Cool. So page loads up. First of all, you see ad groups. Now it starts with the ad group name and what you want to call the ad group. I suggest that the ad group name and the campaign name are the same. Right. So the campaign name is going to be down here and the ad group name is going to be up here, uh, you know. And so when we write the name, this is the way that I like to do it. So I like to start with a product code. So you see this one. This is a hard work mango pineapple. So I will give it a code of HMP. The reason it's very important for you to have a code is because when you go into campaign manager, the best way to sort by product is to have a product code in there. And then in the search, you type in, for example, HMP, and it'll show you just the campaigns for HMP. And then the type of campaign, what type of campaign is it? So for now, let's just say exact. Another one is what is the purpose of this campaign? Like it's for ranking other times. It's just a performance campaign. And then the final piece is where I source those keywords Did they come from suggested keywords by Amazon. And then I like to give it a number. This is because you're going to run out of campaign names. So you're going to just give it numbers. So let's talk about campaign structure really quick. The way that I like to structure campaigns, it's going to be a campaign and then one ad group only, not multiple ad groups, and then no more than five keywords. And at a budget level, which I'm going to talk in a second, I like to have a minimum budget of hundred dollars. Now let's talk about why I do those things. Why do I do only one ad group? The reason that I do only one ad group and not multiple ad groups is because I've noticed that Amazon will split the budget unevenly between the ad groups. So I might have a hundred dollar budget in the campaign, three ad groups instead of 33% in all of the ad groups, like which is $33, it might do $10 here and $70 there. Now that uneven splitting of the budget, I'm kind of relying on Amazon to push budget where it wants to push it. And I want to have more control. I want that hundred dollars to flow all the way to those keywords. And the way to do that is by controlling the number of ad groups. Now, Amazon pushes budget where it wants to push it. And I would rather set up the spend equally across the different campaigns, than review the performance and optimize it myself, rather than including everything in one place where I don't have the same level of visibility from the campaign dashboard. Let's talk about the number of keywords, the number of keywords I like to limit to five. And the reason is, I've seen that anything more than five keywords, I start seeing that the top five keywords get all the budget and the ones at the bottom don't. So I like to limit it to five keywords. So once we have the ad group name, we can quickly copy that, go down, copy it to the campaign name. The reason that I like to have a hundred dollar daily budget is because I feel like anything under that, I don't get enough budget to the keywords and they start underperforming. So I like to give it a good budget, but I'll control the spending by the bids. So I'll keep the bids low if I don't want to overspend. Now, another thing I want to note here is you want to make sure that on the campaign level, you're putting your products in the right portfolio. Remember, this is HMP, so I'm keeping this portfolio. I'll have a start date with no end date, $100 budget. Now let's go back up. Next, I'm gonna add my product. So I'm gonna make sure that I add all of the SKUs. I'm not sure which one of those is the actually active ones, but just by looking here, it's probably this one. So I can, oh, you can see here, this one's maybe paused because it's not there. So this is the one I'm gonna have manual targeting. So auto and manual targeting. If you're doing automatic targeting, I highly suggest that you break the targeting groups 
and you have one campaign per targeting group. So one for close match, one for loose match, one for compliments, one for substitutes. The reason is they perform differently. If I wanna just have a close match one, I'll pause these other ones. And then in the next one, I can launch the loose match and pause the other ones. Now we're doing manual targeting for now. So with manual targeting, you have keywords or product targeting. So let's assume that we're just gonna do keyword targeting and I can click exact only here since this is an exact campaign. I don't recommend mixing. Uh, the different match types so just keep it one campaign broad one campaign phrase one campaign exact because they perform differently and then i can go in and i can add the keywords as a list when it tells you what bid do you want i can do a custom bid a default bid or a suggested bid so i can do a custom bid and put here you know hard work just add that keyword in here and then i can put whatever bid i want or this custom bid which is 144 and then negative keyword targeting this is where i'm going to add negatives to keywords for keywords that i think are not going to perform i like to always leave this until later like let me launch first see my performance and then go into the search term report and for any keywords that are not profitable add them as negatives campaign bidding strategy dynamic up and down down only or fixed bids i like to use up and down only when i'm launching down only is my preferred across the board because it is more conservative with my budget and it allows me to spend less money but perform better. I rarely ever use fixed bids. I let Amazon kind of do a little bit of its machine learning and you know optimize and decrease my bids when it doesn't think I'm gonna convert. All right guys, hopefully this was a very helpful guide and you understand how to set up campaigns on Amazon for the highest chance of success. And I wanna thank Amazon Ads for sponsoring this video and helping bring education to the community and to the industry. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description to one of Amazon Ads guides for best practices. I highly I recommend you guys check that out. Subscribe to the channel and comment below if you have any questions. See you in the next video.